It's time now as we come to the end of 2016 for the annual list of winners and losers. Okay, losers, the mainstream media. That's it. I don't have to go on. You all know what I mean. I mean, it's been a horrible year for the press, largely because of Donald Trump and the election. I've never seen such a bad performance by the mainstream press. Uh, the hostility to the eventual winner, the predictions that he wasn't going to win, the failure to understand his appeal with millions of working class Americans. I mean, it was just an awful performance. And after Trump won the nomination, I thought, well, now the press will kind of get it out. It never happened. But there's an interesting twist here to this, which is now there's starting to be some chatter that Donald Trump, for all his attacks on the dishonest and corrupt media, as he puts it, as he put it when the Electoral College uh, formally certified his victory, with just two electors voting against him, half as many as voted as went rogue and voted against Hillary Clinton. So that was the most hype story of all time. But even then, Trump, thank you for certifying. I'm proud to be a president, uh, despite the irresponsible media. I mean, he just can't resist. So the theory that Trump and the Trump era is actually good for the MSM uh, is that um, now lots of people have to support us, the people who don't like Trump. And so uh, Jim Rutenberg, columnist for the New York Times, wrote about this the other day, saying that the uh, New York Times subscriptions just soared 40,000 plus in just a week or 10 days after the election. Same for uh, some other big newspapers and magazines. Vanity Fair subscriptions are up, uh, I am told, after Donald Trump uh, ran a, 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 put up this negative tweet saying Vanity Fair failing. Uh, Graydon Carter is going to be out as editor and all of that. And even donations to some of these non-profit journalism groups like ProPublica are up. But here's the danger in that. Uh, you know, so I get that Trump, in a way, because he there is so much interest in him and his administration, and he's just sort of turbocharged the news. I mean, cable news ratings in the last year soared for all the cable news networks, including Fox, which is number one, uh, by a lot. Uh, but I, I get that there's a fringe benefit because the country's engaged as well as very polarized. But to the extent to which more people are looking to the mainstream media as a counter against Trump, and you have Slate running this ad that pops up at the bottom of the screen, you know, Donald Trump's declared war on the press, help us fight him. In other words, send money, as much of it as you can. Um, then I think there may be a temptation to cater to these newfound fans and readers and viewers and people who click on your websites uh, by being even more negative toward Donald Trump. Not that the MSM need a lot of encouragement in that regard. And I continue to say the same thing that I have said with every president of every party. The press needs to be aggressive against every administration, report fairly and accurately and aggressively, do investigative reporting, hold them accountable. But the same standard needs to apply. I mean, you recall when Barack Obama won, the mainstream media were kind of in a celebratory mood. And I don't recall seeing all these stories about what all about all the people who didn't support Obama and um, how angry or upset or disappointed they are, uh, except to sort of lambaste the Tea Party. And therefore, we have to be careful uh, not to get swept away by the hope and change thing and report aggressively on Barack Obama. And I, don't, I, don't, I miss those columns. So here is the challenge, you know, at the time when newsrooms are emptying out, when the print model is broken because print advertising continues to go down and digital revenue is not anywhere coming near to closing that gap, uh, when fewer people are watching TV, and we may feel this more when it's not an election year, um, when journalism is uh, trusted, when trust in journalism is at historic lows, and that's something that was perhaps exacerbated by the Trump candidacy, but certainly didn't originate with that, um, we need more than ever to be fair. Aggressive, yes. Uh, accountability journalism, yes. We need to be fair. And to the extent that we can get back on that road, especially with a new president coming to office uh, whose victory was predicted by virtually no one in this business, um, then maybe we can begin the slow process of winning back trust. If not, it's going to continue to go down. And the truth is, folks, credibility, trust, is the only thing we really have. You know, there's a million places you can get your news. You can get it on Facebook and Twitter and, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, or you can just tune it out. So I hope 2017 turns out to be a rebuilding year for the media, because we have a long way to go. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. See you next year.